All right, guys, welcome to a very interesting video. Today, we're going to be going through my entire cassette tape collection. Um, the way we're going to do this, we're going to go through all of my official or like, you know, licensed release um, cassettes first, followed by all, you know, the custom, the bootlegs, the reissues, the, the fan made or, you know, whatever, anything that's not like official release. Um, so yeah, kind of two main parts, first official and then second, all, the, all of those. Um, what do I collect? I mostly collect rap and electronic. So you're going to be seeing mostly that, mostly hip hop, mostly rap, so um, amongst some other things. Um, this is one of the most interesting things to collect, mostly due to the, you know, limited documentation and just like, honestly, just confusion around like, where the hell do these things come from? Where was this released? What year was it released? Like, how many different versions were there? Like, it's just, it's a really cool, interesting, you know, piece of physical media to collect. And, you know, it's not extremely popular as, you know, like vinyl and CDs, but I love collecting cassettes, and we're just going to go ahead and get straight into this. So, starting off, we have Encore by Eminem. This is the Indonesian release. Uh, yeah, and, you know, the condition you, you, you guys see, it's going to be varying for depending on what cassette. You know, these are pretty old. Obviously, Encore 2004. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Encore there. Uh, next up, we have Dr. Dre, The Chronic, the digitally remastered version. This is a super rare cassette tape. The regular one is also rare, but um, specifically the digitally remastered cassette tape, it, you know, you'll be paying like well over 100 US dollars for this, like, like probably double or more now. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy to have this in my collection. I got it for a decent price. Not fantastic, but yeah. So yeah, I love this album. 10 out of 10. One of my favorites of all time. Love Dr. Dre. Next up, we have Daft Punk Alive 1997. I believe this is either a Thailand release or Indonesia release. I, I think that's just you know the standard whatever US or whatever for Dr. Dre. Uh, but yeah, for this Daft Punk one, I really don't know. I'm sure someone does. There's always someone correcting me in my videos, like telling me whether stuff's official or not. But yeah, I believe it's Thailand or something like that. Next up, we have this random MTV cassette. I don't really know if it's official or not. I just throw it in the official section because I'm not sure. So you, I guess you could call this, you know, um, official slash I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just like a bunch of random hits from early 2000s, stuff like that. Got some Black Eyed Peas, got some Timberlake, got some just random, random stuff, you know. Uh, looks like 2004. So I have no idea whether this is official, a remake of an official thing or... Yeah, I, I have no idea. So anyway, next up. We have a really cool one over here, this lenticular case of the Slim Shady LP, still sealed. This is um, the indigo or purple translucent tape you could buy from Eminem's website on a particular anniversary. It might have been 20th anniversary or something like that of the Slim Shady LP. Love this album. So good. Still sealed as well, which is really nice. Next up, we have Timberland uh, Shock Value. And whenever you see this universal silver sticker here it's always a um uh, indonesian release so this is an indonesia release some people constitute the indonesia releases as not official but they they definitely are you know at least in my opinion um but yeah um timberland shock value i love this album i love shock value 2 a lot more than shock value 1 but unfortunately shock value 2 is not available in cassette anywhere at least officially so yeah Next up, we have 8 Mile soundtrack. Um, I don't have this on CD, I don't have this on vinyl, but I do have it on cassette. And this is, of course, you know, Indonesia release. Music from and inspired by the motion picture 8 Mile. Great movie. Great soundtrack. So, yep. Next up, we have... Okay, I've done a, a lot of videos on these individually as well. Uh, I might as well mention that, because when I'm just picking these up, I'm like, man, I've, you know, I've done videos on these. So definitely... Um, surf around my channel, check it out. You'll see a lot of like in-depth ones, like where I just, you know, unbox it, talk about it, show the tape, you know, even play like a snippet of the album. Uh, I'm sure some people really appreciate that. Anyway, A Tribe Called Quest, People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythm. Love this album. I can't decide whether I like this or the Low End Theory more. Um, they're both 10 out of 10. And yeah, just classic hip hop. Just so good. So just like ahead of its time. So clean, the production and everything. Next up, we have Red Foo and Dre Croon Balance Beam. Still sealed, but I'm going to open it soon, I think. Maybe in a video. Very old, very underground. This very, like, not known of. Obviously, Red Foo is the guy from LMFAO. You know, the party rock dudes. Party rock, is it them? Sexy and I know it, guys, whatever. 
Um, I'm a big fan of them, and I'm also a big fan of Red Foo's like solo stuff before LMFAO, and this is all of his solo stuff for LMFAO in one place uh, with his buddy Dre Crew. Um, yeah, uh, that's a really good hidden gem you guys should listen to. Next up, we have Eminem Curtain Call The Hits, Indonesia release. Uh, out of all of the Eminem um, releases, this is probably the rarest cassette tape from at least the Indonesia release that you can find. It's always the most expensive as well. Um, yeah, obviously all of the, the amazing hits, Just it's just perfection, you know? Next up, we've got Dr. Dre 2001. Again, this is another gray area one. I'm not sure whether this is quote unquote official or not, but it, it seems to be to my knowledge. I'm not sure. I've done a video on this on my channel. Um, it, it's just kind of hard to tell. I don't know like what to go off. I, I don't even know where to start, you know, to check if it's official. Check out the video I've done on this, like, you know, showcasing the cassette, playing it, you know, showing the inlay art, unfolding everything, showing you the details of the close-up. I'm sure someone can let me know, but to my knowledge, it's official, um, but I could be wrong, so. And this is my favorite album of all time, Dr. Dre 2001, 10 out of 10. The only other album that comes close, we'll have a look at later. Um, and this is one of the other albums that comes close actually as well. So that's probably number one. This is probably number two or three for my favorite albums of all time. If you guys have checked my vinyl record collection video, I've talked a lot about my favorite albums on that one. Daft Punk Discovery, Indonesia release, as you can see. Uh, Perfection, literally probably my second favorite album of all time. What can I say? Love it. So good. Just, just so good. Literally just so good. Next up, Kanye West Yeezus. Uh, probably my third third favorite uh, Kanye album after My Beautiful Dog of Fantasy and 808s and Heartbreak. Still sealed. Uh, a lot of people complain about this release. This is official, um, but they just complain how the label is on the outside. You know, if you unbox this thing, it's not going to have the label, unfortunately, unless you like, you know, like cut off halfway and then have this as a sleeve or, you know, just take it off and you know, just put it back on. It's just kind of annoying. Even this parental advisory sticker, it's just so annoying how it's like all on the outside seal. But yeah, of course, Jesus, incredible. I do love, love me some Jesus, so... Also pretty rare, also pretty expensive when you do come by that one. Next up, we got the Black Eyed Peas Elefunk, Indonesia release again. Uh, not too expensive when you find it, somewhat uncommon. Uh, it's not as rare as some of the other stuff I've already gone through here, but yeah, I guess it's just not an album everyone's looking for exactly, but you got some classics on here, like Where Is The Love, all that stuff, you know, Shut Up. Uh, there's a lot of good girls. Uh, not good girls, I was reading, sorry, reading Latin girls. There's a lot of um, good songs on there that you guys should also check out. Love Black Eyed Peas. Next up, we got a single. I think it's the first single I'm showing off, pretty sure. Uh, Dr. Dre, Nothing But A G Thang. Uh, great song. It's two versions here, or at least I think. Program repeats both, so maybe it's the same thing. I can't remember, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, again, this one, it's like, it's pretty rare, but it's not expensive when you find it. There's a, you know, like, rare does not always equal expensive, guys. You know, like, let's just say, like, example, for example, that Red Foon, Drake Room, Balance Beam. It's absurdly rare, but when it does come up, it's, you know, it's not expensive. Because not everyone's looking for, like, you know, the half of LMFAO's, like, solo stuff before they were famous and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's, just because it's rare doesn't mean it's always desirable, and therefore it's, like, not always going to be like super expensive just because it's rare. So that's a big, you know, like misinterpretation in this hobby. Um, anyway, next up we got Daft Punk. Uh, two tracks on here, Da Funk and Music. I've done a video on this cassette on my channel. Um, yeah, love both of these tracks. This is a very old school tape. It's, it's really rare as well. Um, definitely cool to have. Next up we have Logic's College Park on cassette. This is a green tape, still sealed. Probably going to keep it sealed. Uh, yeah, I'm not like a crazy fan of this, but I did get it like for pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, I, I love Vinyl Days a lot, but you know, College Park, I, I still don't mind a couple of tracks um, from College Park. Does it have the track list here? Yeah, it does. There you can see the track list. So yeah, I think Red Pill, that song. I do really like that one. Um, yeah. Next, we got Eminem, The Marshall Mothers LP, Indonesia release. Dope album, love it. It's up there with some of Eminem's best projects, but in my opinion, Eminem's best project is this right here, the Eminem show. Again, Indonesia release, Universal. Uh, for some reason, this is going <laughs> the other way. Um, is this one? Yeah, see this one's facing left, and this one's facing right. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but 
yeah, I love this album. It's so good. And that concludes all of my official, or at least what I believe to be is official cassette tapes. Again, all of the nerds and all of the, you know, the, the people that can really pick out the minor details. Let me know in the comments what I'm wrong about. Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure about Dre 2001. Who knows about this weird MTV thing, if that's a legit release. Um, apart from that, I think everything here, I'm pretty much 100% sure. I'm uh, just trying to think. Yeah, possibly Daft Punk Live 1997, but I'm pretty sure that's also official. So, yeah. That is all of my official... Okay, everything's just kind of falling apart. Um, yeah, tapes. And now, we're going to get onto some of the really cool stuff that you don't get to see a whole lot of on the internet at all. So, I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit just quickly. Move it across, this and that. And then, now, it's where stuff gets interesting. This is where more than half of my channel's views come from. Like the custom stuff, the fan-made stuff. And the main question I get, where the heck do you buy this stuff? You just got to look hard enough. Sometimes Etsy, sometimes eBay. Rarely, though. Um, and yeah, you just kind of have to get lucky and just know where to look, stuff like that. Starting us off though, we have Kanye West, Late Registration. This is a, a remake. There is actually an official rate, sorry, Late Registration um, cassette tape in Indonesia, but it's like $500, $600 when it does come up. So rare, so expensive, and no thank you. I just got this for like 10 bucks, same thing, just a remake. So it's just so funny how there's that typo there. Um, but yeah, it's cool, and it works, and it, you know, I'm happy with it, and I'd rather pay, you know, 10 bucks for a high-quality remake than the $500, $600 original freaking thing. Um, yeah, so, next up, we have Daft Punk Music. Um, this is also a custom. I have no idea whether this album was ever officially released on cassette. I highly doubt it. Or even vinyl, I'm not sure. But cassette, I highly doubt. Uh, obviously, I do have the CD, but yeah, there's another custom. Alright, next up we got uh, Watch the Throne, of course, very obscure piece of media in my hand right here, a freaking Watch the Throne cassette, I bet you'd never thought you'd see this in your life. Um, for some reason, out of all of my custom tapes, this front cover is like just the lowest quality for some reason, or maybe it doesn't show that well on camera, maybe it does, but of course, it's just, just weird, maybe because of the stretch res, but I, I don't know. Next up. We've got Lady Gaga, the fame. Lady Gaga, apart from Nicki Minaj, probably my favorite female artist. I love this album a lot. So many cool songs, so many just throwbacks as well. Love that album cover as well, so cool. Uh, yeah, and then next up we have Soul Intent uh, cassette tape over here. Basement Productions, if you guys are unfamiliar with this, this is Eminem's stuff before Eminem, like be even before Infinite. Before Slim Shady LP was Infinite, before Infinite was Soul Intent. Basically a group of him and his buddies uh, with, you know, producer, DJ Butterfingers, Mannix, a few others. You look into it, look it up on YouTube. I have a couple videos on showcasing this and my other ones on this channel, which have blown up quite a bit. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's so cool. Uh, it, it's obviously a House of Wax release. House of Wax, they do re-releases re for stuff, so yeah. Next up, this is another grey area one. It might have been in there. I could have put it in there, but I just didn't want to, like, you know, look stupid. Um, this is a Slim Shady LP snippet tape. I believe that this is, you know, like a reissue or a custom. It's not the original thing, but it, it could be because it did come sealed when I opened it, but it's just so hard to tell, and it's in just such good condition. It would be suspicious for this thing to be authentic. Of course, someone let me know. I've done a video on this on my channel. Go find it uh, and just... Tell me, no one's been able to tell me yet, so kind of sad, but yeah, this is really cool. Snippet tape from, you know, some previews for the Slim Shady LP, along with some funny skits. Next up, we have uh, Daft Punk's Random Access Memories uh, cassette tape. I think someone did let me know that this one was unofficial on the video I posted, but again, I'm still not sure. I do believe that this is unofficial. It came from Indonesia, which is also the same country, you know, you get all the official Universal ones from. But yeah, this could be fake or it might not be. It's got glitter and stuff. It looks like dust particles on the camera. It looks dirty for some reason, but it's actually sparkling here in person. You know, you can kind of see there. Uh, they put glitter in the case. Really cool. Great Daft Punk album. But of course, you know, I, I do think it's a fan-made version or custom or something. 
Anyway, getting on to some of the cooler ones now. Kanye West's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Um, of course, this album was never officially released on cassette tape. And this is really cool to have, so cool to have. I've done a video on this, definitely check it out if you like Kanye. Uh, of course, this is the album I was talking about before. Top three albums of all time. You got Dre 2001, you got Daft Punk Discovery, then you got Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Uh, they're all top three. They're my three favorite albums ever. This is the best Kanye album, Fight Me. Uh, I do love Yeezus, I do love 808s and Heartbreak, but this is definitely his best work. Um, yeah. Speaking of 808s, we got 808s and Heartbreak over here. Uh, this is the just the standard heart version. It's not the one with the hands where it's broken. Uh, great album. First ever Kanye album I listened to. I loved it. It's just so close to M MBDTF for me. Um, in terms of quality and how good it is, but of course that's always going to be better. This is a very close second though for me. I love 808s and Heartbreak. My favorite album cover of all time. The version with the hands in particular. Uh, next up, we got more Kanye. We got um, The Life of Pablo. Cassette tape. This is a really cool cassette. Um, this was the first ever custom cassette I actually got. Or one of, at least. Um, and yeah, it sounds great. It's really cool. And I've done a video on it as well. Um, who said we're stopping with Kanye? We have the Kid See Ghosts cassette tape. Kanye West Kid Cudi. Uh, really cool. Custom tape. What can I say? Then we have... Eminem Slim Shady EP. Obviously, the original definitely goes for a lot of money. Even the remakes, though, just even the re even these things I'm showing you here, guys. These, some of these are still not cheap, man. Because like, obviously, people there's a high demand for this quality music, and people just want they just want shit, to be honest. Um, so even like all of the Eminem like custom stuff I'm about to show you now, especially that one up there, the Soul Intent. Um, it it goes for a ridiculous amount of money anyway. Oh, not like ridiculous, but just kind of crazy. Um, because it's so popular. So this is, yeah, the Slim Shady EP. Obviously what got Dr. Dre's attention and, you know, just, just started everything. If it wasn't for this, we wouldn't have Eminem today, like as big as he is, you know. Who knows what could have happened. Uh, some great cuts. All that stuff. Next up, we have more Basement Production stuff. That is actually Eminem right there. And you can see. Sucker in Rhymes Volume 1 and Volume 2, some really goofy tracks, horrible quality, low quality stuff. Just, just it's hard to find any good quality stuff of these tracks anywhere, to be honest. You can just pause that and have a read, just appreciate what the frick some of these names are. Um, yeah, really cool. Obviously, it's a remake. There are originals out there somewhere, I think, but I just, I just don't know, like, anymore. Like, the mystery surrounding some of these things, Jesus. Next up. We got Eminem Infinite. Of course, the original Infinite cassette tapes. Oh, they are literal treasure chests in your hand. If you have it, you are holding on to a treasure. And I suggest you either never let it go or you sell it immediately because they are valuable as shit. But this is, a, a, I think, a remake. House of Wax again, it might be. It's definitely from the UK I bought it from. Uh, yeah. Infinite is... Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I like Infinite. I think it's a bit overhated, but people are starting to like it now more, I feel like. More Eminem. We got Soul Intent, uh, fucking Backstabber cassette tape over here. Two songs on here. Uh, whoop. Featuring Bitophobia as well. Commonly um, referred to as Eminem's first ever song, even though it's not. People always say it is for some reason. I don't know why, but amazing song, Bitophobia. You could really just see how much talent he had. Um, even in the early days. Damn, these are piling up. All right. Almost done. We have Kanye West Graduation. Really cool custom cassette. I've done a video on this. Definitely check it out. My thoughts on Graduation. Um, great album. Love it. Um, next, we have another Soul Intent. Basement Productions. Uh, this is just has a couple of tracks on here. Again, this is a House of Wax release, I believe. Super cool. And last but not least, we have Kanye West Donda. Cassette 1, Cassette 2, because it's a freaking long album. Um, yeah, really cool cassette. Like collection of cassettes, I guess. I've done a video on these as well. And that's that's everything. Don't mind the mess and the boxes. We've just moved into this new house and everything. But 
This is my entire cassette tape collection. I'm just going to slowly organize stuff as I do the outro over here. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I definitely suggest checking out my vinyl record collection video and also my CD collection video if it's up by the time you're watching this because I'm going to be making that video very soon. Um, but yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff on my channel I'm sure you'll enjoy if you like this video. And this is the type of stuff I collect. It's an... <laughs> Man, it's an expensive hobby, definitely. But yeah, there's all of my cassette tapes. Um, I might have a few others, to be honest, like hanging around somewhere. But maybe my car or maybe my room. But um, this is everything I could find for the video. And there's a lot of great albums here. A lot of great hidden gems that you, I highly suggest you guys listen to. But of course, collecting cassettes, um, unless you're looking for older, you know, like 90s or early 2000s stuff, it's going to be hard to find some of your favorite albums on cassette unless they are custom. Uh, of course, you know, like, but at the same time, I think I've done well here, you know, just uh, gathered a pretty decent collection. So, yeah, uh, stay tuned for my CD collection video, which will be coming very soon. Uh, and that's actually one of my bigger collections of the stuff I do collect. And let me know if you have any questions or complaints, and definitely let me know which ones are official and which ones aren't. Obviously, I I tried to distinguish it as best as I could, but there's always mystery, there's always questions, there's always, you know, um, open-ended just stuff with these, with music, so, yeah, like I said, just repeating myself for the trillionth time, check out the vinyl collection video, check out the CD collection video when it's out, and that's pretty much everything I want to say, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know your favorite cassette you saw in this video, and do everything else I said, or else, and yeah, that's pretty much everything. All right. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Goodbye.